kindergarten artist, Ms. Miner, here in my studio. I just want to do a little check-in. I saw a lot of people were doing their creative color wheels. They look fabulous. Love them. Keep the pictures coming if you haven't already. This week, we have a couple of activities. One, draw the alphabet. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to draw a picture for each letter of the alphabet. So if you start with A, what are some things that you can think of that start with the letter A? Apple, alligator, uh, aardvark. So anything that you can think of that starts with the letter A, put it there. Uh, when you get to the letter O, maybe you draw an orange or an orangutan. Okay. So, one picture in each box. You can do it small just with crayons and pencil. Second activity of the week, and I'm gonna go over this a little bit more, is everybody's favorite book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, or Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late, or The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog, my personal favorite. I want you guys to draw the pigeon today. There's a couple of worksheets in your packet that you're gonna wanna take out. And I'm also gonna link uh, down below this video to uh, Mo Willems' doodles that he's doing every day and you can watch previous days and pick up some tips from the artist himself, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's get to that demonstration. All right, for this project, you're gonna wanna have your practice drawing a pigeon worksheet, the let's draw a pigeon worksheet, a blank piece of paper or two. I would start out using pencil for this project and you might even wanna grab an eraser. Myself, I'm gonna draw in marker just so you can see it better. We are gonna start out with the practice drawing the pigeon. Cause it breaks down Head in this box, neck in this box, body in this box, leg in this box. So let's see, that head is mostly like a circle. Then you've got your eye. Okay. And mine is not going to be perfect. I can see I've already messed up, but I didn't use pencil, so I can't erase. All right, next we're gonna have our neck. Okay, fits in that box. Then we've got our body. Straight line, a rounded line. All right, we're gonna add that wing. And then the legs. So you guys will be using pencils. So if you do mess up, you can erase. Okay, so I see I made him a little too skinny in the neck. I can go back and shade this in. But there is your practice drawing a pigeon. So once you've practiced, you can get out this sheet and your blank paper. and you can start from scratch. So step one, draw the head. Do a nice big circle. And then there's a circle around the circle. And then the eye. Okay. Next, you gotta do the beak. Two triangles. On the head okay, and then you're gonna draw a nice long neck for your pigeon okay and you gotta have the those lines there on the neck all right next we're gonna do the body which is a big curved line coming out and another triangle on back the rest of his body And then you want to do the wing, which is another almost triangle. It just doesn't have the line right there. 
and then you do your legs. And they're like right underneath the neck. Line straight down, then diagonal lines on either side. There, you have your pigeon. And then if you want, you could add a speech bubble, which you do with a triangle and a big circle. Once you've drawn your pigeon, you know, you can color the pigeon in, come up with a title for your book. I did mess up my writing here a little bit, but I'm gonna title my book, Don't Let the Pigeon Paint. Could you imagine how messy that would be if the pigeon painted? So there's my pigeon. Once you're done, snap a photo and message me in Dojo so I can see your awesome new pigeon books. All right, kindergarten, I will talk to you on Friday. Stay creative.